Hey, guess what, guys? So, recently there was a solar, sorry, a lunar eclipse. Um, a lot of the world could see it. And guess what? I was finally able to see it. Seems every time something cool happens in the sky, there's something going on. There's some clouds or something. There's a storm. Um, I don't know if I told the story of driving halfway across country to South Carolina to see the um, total solar eclipse a couple years ago, but uh, during that one hour that it was occurring, a storm happened right on top of us, while the rest of the nation, literally the rest of the nation, was completely clear and could see it. It was just like some slap in the face from nature that, I I don't know, I don't know what I did to deserve that, but... I don't know, and, and every time there's something, something eclipse-like, or like a really big moon or something for some lovely scientific reason, uh, astronomical reason, uh, there's always clouds or something. It's just it it never works out for me, but this time it did. So, uh, luckily, our porch. Um, looks out and has a pretty broad expanse of the night sky uh, within viewing distance. So I was able to set up my little camera and take a nice time lapse of this this really cool looking lunar eclipse. I was pretty, uh, pretty psyched. It also happened like right at the time of night where it wasn't too late. I go to bed at maybe like one o'clock usually. Uh, but yeah, it happened right on time. We were able to make some dinner, and, uh, we made some, like, cheesy chicken and rice stuff, and, uh, in the crock pot, and it was delicious, and, and so we ate that, and we watched the moon, and it was one of the cool, it's just the coolest thing. It's really one of the coolest things I've, I've had the pleasure of seeing. It looked like there was, like, a like someone had thrown a peach or something up in the sky and it got stuck there. Like it, it looked like you could just reach up and grab it. So weird. Or like a balloon or something was stuck up there. I don't know. It looked like it was within our atmosphere. And I don't know, man. It's really neat. Really neat. I enjoyed it. Uh, so I did a little drawing in, in response to my experience. <laughs> Nah, and it, it, just a little, little lunar eclipse-inspired art here. Uh, I started out with watercolors. Um, been really digging some watercolors lately. I, I just made this sketchbook made out of Bristol paper, and Bristol paper is pretty good with holding water and not getting too wrinkly. Uh, you don't want to load it on there or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, as long as you're delicate, it, it holds it pretty well. Uh, I was getting a little frustrated with it looking more watercolory than solid. I don't know, I'm working on it. Maybe maybe this paper isn't the best for watercolors. Maybe that's my problem, but I refuse to let it win. So I'm going to keep playing with watercolors in this book. I just made the sketchbook a little while ago. It's, uh, it's like a full pad of... Of, uh, what's it, like 11 by 17 Bristol paper that I cut in half? Or not cut in half, folded in half. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. It's going to be my my main for a while, because Bristol paper is just so versatile. Um, uh, um, You can use it for lots of things. It's really great for pen and ink as well. And, uh... It's just soft and 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 durable and all these adjectives I could go on complimenting Bristol paper forever. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh oh, Happy New Year! This is my first video in a while, and I apologize for that. I, I've honestly been recording drawings and then I have a really bad habit of starting another drawing so by the time I think to upload another video I've already got another video and I want to I want to work on that one so the old one kind of 
falls through the cracks and I don't know. I haven't really done anything that I'm, I'm very proud of recently, like something that I'd want to share the process of. But this one I really enjoyed doing because I was kind of surprised by, by the moon. Um, it, it, as I was drawing it with colored pencils, I was just kind of winging it. So along the way, it didn't really look like a moon to me. So I was almost to the point where I wanted to draw one and just paste it on top of what I'd already started, but I just kept going and was pleasantly surprised. Uh, there's definitely some wax bloom there with the colored pencils because Prismacolors are pretty waxy. Uh, but it got to the point where it actually kind of blended together and suddenly it looked exactly like I wanted it to, which was, uh, that's always a good feeling when, when you don't give up and you just keep going and suddenly it turns into exactly what you're after. That's like the best feeling. Uh, I actually stopped in the middle, not the middle really, but, uh, at the end where it was just... Um, just the water, just the blue watercolor background. Um, and I scanned it and I sat looking at it and I was just, it needed something else. So I decided to do my dots. My little black dot, well, my little dots with black around them. I don't know, man. It's like my trademark thing. And, uh, that's what it was missing. When in doubt, just add some dots. And, uh, and, and then and then you'll be savvy. I mean, or something. I don't know. You'll be great. You'll you'll do just fine. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.